How did it feel getting back on the field for the first time in, in a game? Uh, it was nice. I mean, kind of just got right right back into the groove of things, but it had been a while, and it was nice to get back on out there. You, you seem to, you know, hit hit your stride in like middle of the first quarter after a little bit of a slow start. Was it just, you know, just nerves, timing, uh, I think plays? It was just the first drive, and uh, I think that was the one drive we didn't score. Um, I got a little greedy. I tried to take a DJ on third and five, and I probably just should have got to my progression. So that kind of killed that drive. But I think after that, um, we we just we produced. Um, so I think yeah, after that first drive, things got uh, a lot better. Josh, with how things went last year, Virginia Tech getting a chance to come out here, try again at quarterback. How excited were you for this performance, and how I guess refreshing to go out there and put up four touchdowns in your debut? Yeah, I mean the touchdowns are cool and everything, but I was just glad that we can go out and have a. Uh, have a, get a victory for our first game and the way we did it and 79 points is pretty awesome and it's awesome for Coach Locks and our team so um, it's good to be right now. Coach said you were very cool in the pocket, perhaps too cool. When you go back into the film room, do you try and uh, talk to him about, you know, just let me be me? No, nah, I don't think I'll say that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, he's right. Uh, I definitely like, I play a calm game and, you know, sometimes I need to speed up a little bit and they heard from me about that, but uh, I'll, I'll get better. I definitely won't tell them that. But. Uh, those <laughs> plays were with zero coverage. Did you have two plays automatically called with zero or regular defense, um, or did you call out of that? One of them I did check. Uh, it was nice. Um, it was it was easy to see that they're going zero. They did it a lot that game. Um, but yeah, uh, a majority of the time they did zero. We had two po uh, passing concepts going, and I was able to choose the uh, the touchdown to Dante was. Uh, four man or zero, so that's why it worked out. And uh, we had a few other plays that um, I threw a slant to Daryl. Um, it was just short, it was like third and 10, I think, and we were a couple yards short, but that was zero as well. But um, yeah, I mean, they, they ran it a lot and I think we executed well against it. Do you have the offensive line call or is the center make it? Um, it's a little bit of both. Uh, he'll make a call, I'll make a call, and we kind of just communicate together. At the Jacklish Law Group, uh, not only will you feel like a member of their family, uh, you'll also receive uh, unprecedented customer service. We love our clients, and you'll see that if you trust us at the Jacklish Law Group, the big dogs from the small firm, and we'll reward your trust. Call the big dogs today. Don't wait. Find us online at bigdogsmallfirm.com. How good was it just to get back on the field in a real game and do what you were able to do too? It was good. I mean, um, I haven't been hit in a while, so I was a little, <laughs> little nervous about that. But after I got there, you go, they got a few good hits on me actually. But um, yeah, it was just nice to get back and swing things. Josh, how much of a momentum builder is a game like this with a couple of cu tough contests coming up here in the next few weeks? Um, it's. I mean, it's really good for your team. Uh, a lot of young guys got to play. Um, the old guys have got to make plays, and I think you just have to continue to build off of it. I know it's 79 to, to zero, and that's uh, obviously a huge win, but you just got to focus on the little things to try to get better. When you have as many playmakers surrounding you, how much easier does that make your job? It makes my job a lot easier. Not all my throws are very great throws, and like on the touchdown to Dante, it was behind him, and he made a great catch, and he walked in, and uh, just a lot of things. Like, they, they just make it easier on you. So. Um, they did a great job, and I think we'll continue to get better. How about Scotty's play calling? I like it. Yeah. I mean, you liked it too, right? I mean, it looked, that was pretty good, right? <laughs> <laughs> Were you surprised at all about how, how many times you guys passed it, or was that kind of what you expected going into the game? Um, with our RPOs and the defense they run, um, a lot of that means that we're going to end up throwing it. Um, and then after that, we just, I mean, yeah, we threw the ball a lot, um, but because of that cover zero, um, you kind of have to throw it. So that kind of puts you in a situation where you just got to get the ball out of your hands fast and make plays. What stands out to you about Dante? Obviously, you've probably seen him in the, in the game. In game action. Yeah, he makes, I think he had three for 100. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> he's, a, he's a beast out there, and uh, he'll continue to get better. Was he someone you saw yourself developing chemistry with early in fall camp? Mm -hmm. or? Yeah, I mean, all of them, because they, they kind of all rotated throughout camp. So I got to get reps with all those guys, and Daryl, I'm gonna give him crap until next week about getting caught on that slant. But him, Dante, um, 
DJ, I'm trying to think who else, and the running backs as well had a big uh, impact in the passing game. And I know that one uh, deep throw on the on the first drive where you and Dante didn't connect. Yeah, that was a bad throw. By me. But is it nice though to be able to have a receiver of his size and speed where you can kind of have the confidence to throw it up there and, and yeah, know that that kind of happened it? more in that was just a bad ball. Uh, the I want to say we had pass interference. It was going into our end zone. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was kind of where I kind of just threw it up to him because it was zero. I didn't really have the best beater for it, and I just gave him a shot at it, and we got the penalty. So that's nice because he almost made the catch. So um, very nice to have it. When, when the pass game functions so well um, in a live game scenario, how much more confidence do you guys have as quarterback receivers as opposed to just fall camp after the game? Yeah, I mean, you have confidence, and that all comes from, I mean, the run game helps that out as well. So, I mean, we just felt good out there today. Things worked, everything except for, like, that first drive. But that's mainly my fault anyway. So um, I think we had a good day. Josh, was there any um, – I'm so sorry – with all the running backs and the wide receivers, you got a good court. Does that kind of make you excited as a quarterback that you know you have the confidence to throw to any guy, no yes. matter who you face? No doubt. Um, I think I got it to three of the running backs, um, a few of the receivers. So, like, everybody can make plays on our offense, and you kind of just got to get it to them. Um, and even if it's not a, a great throw, which I didn't throw very many great throws out there today or anything special, they make plays and they can get yak and everything like that. So. Yeah. When did you feel like you were in a rhythm just after that first drive? Yeah, no, I just, um, yeah, I threw that bad ball to Dante, and then I got greedy on the third and five because I saw the look and I wanted to throw it, and I overthrew him. But after that, we got in a good groove and things um, went well. Well, just you already asked, but what was, do you think, the first impression you guys made today? Because Coach said it's, you only get one chance to be that first I mean, impression. I think, yeah, I think we made a good first impression, 79 to, to zero, and um, – that's a good team, and I think they have very good players on their team. Our uh, defense played great. Uh, they lights out, honestly. So, and then the offense after the first drive uh, produced, and we got to get uh, four quarterbacks in the game, a lot of running backs, um, receivers got in. Every, I mean, everybody got to get in. So that's just nothing but um, nothing but helps your offense. So. Do you think having uh, being pulled from the game when uh, coach was saying it's important for starters to get reps? Does that affect your ability to uh, learn the system a little bit better than playing four quarters? Uh, no, no, no. I, I mean, I know the system. It's just more of a, I think we were up 35 and put Big in, and they, I think he threw a touchdown to Dante. I think that's how it worked out. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, we were up 35 points. I thought I didn't think I was going back in, and then they put me back in, which is obviously fine with me. I got to connect to Tyler. Um, but, no, that, that's not a problem.